Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jeanne coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about Juliana's perfume. Is Juliana's perfume the best inspired fragrance house out there? If you wanna know, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop and leave me your scent of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jeanne welcome and if you are returning thank you so so much for clicking back onto another video i truly truly appreciate you guys' support so if you have not already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi now let's hop into today's video because i'm super excited to tell you guys my thoughts i've been testing these fragrances out for about a week and a half now and i have some very 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 in-depth thoughts about each one of these scents now with full transparency and full disclosure i would like to thank juliana's perfume for sponsoring today's video and sending four out of the five fragrances that i have today i'm just letting you guys know up front that i am working with juliana's perfume on this video however they told me that i can be completely transparent i don't have to you know gas them up or anything like that they just want to know my true authentic feelings and that's what I'm gonna give anyways I'm not gonna lie to you guys about anything just because I'm getting paid for it you know what I'm saying that's just not me so I am gonna tell you guys my full full thoughts my raw thoughts since I had time to play with them and really got to see how they performed and what they smelled like on my skin and how I wear my fragrances I have very in-depth thoughts about each one of these fragrances especially the two that I own the actual fragrance for that it's inspired by so I'll have that at the end of the video but for three out of the five I've never smelled the originals I just wanted to see how I would feel with them and go from there so I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the packaging with Juliana's perfume because it's very unique in my opinion I remember a couple years ago they sent me some samples and I never got around to actually talking about them on my channel but I did try them out and I did have my favorites and this is their packaging so this is what the fragrance comes in you get this beautiful matte black box it has Juliana's perfume on the front they are extracted parfum concentration so you get a lot of fragrance oil in your fragrance and also when you open the box you get the fragrance that's actually in the compartment this is a very nice sturdy foam you also get too many samples of your choice for this particular box I got rebellious and oud orange imperial so I'm not sure what rebellious is the inspired fragrance for but oud orange imperial is an inspired fragrance from oud orange intense from the house of fragrance Dubois which I own but also behind the fragrance you get the small like try before you commit type of spray sample and it's of the actual bottle that you have so that's something else that I love their return policy is incredible you have 60 days to return your fragrance the full bottle you know of course untouched for a full refund like who does that that's an amazing deal in my opinion you can try it before you actually commit and the last thing I really enjoy about Juliana's perfume is that they ask their supporters what fragrances they want to see next I've been signed up for their emails for a very long time and I remember they asked about this fragrance in particular and this is a fragrance that I purchased on my own this is called call me by your name and this is inspired by gourmand coquine from Guerlain I have been wanting to get my hands on that discontinued fragrance for the longest and I haven't been able to get my hands on it so I was like you know what let me just try their inspired fragrance and I have really been enjoying it I haven't been wearing it lately because it's been super hot here in Arkansas and I'm almost six months pregnant so I, I don't need any more you know things going on but this is absolutely beautiful I love how chocolatey it is and it's slightly boozy as well I really enjoy that about this scent and I can't wait until it gets a little colder outside so I can pull this one out but once I tried this fragrance I was like you know what I need to try this house out some more because this scent actually smells very very nice and it performs very well on my skin if you guys are interested in Juliana's perfume or any scent that I'm talking about today I'm gonna have everything linked down below now let's get into the scents because I was pleasantly surprised about some and I was kind of disappointed with some others so I'm gonna go off with my least like to my most liked the first fragrance I'm gonna talk to you guys about today is one that I really wanted to get my hands on the original but something always stopped me I am expecting 
my second child so I'm trying to be a little bit more cognizant of what I want to buy I don't want to really blind buy a lot of luxury fragrances or fragrances in general because I have another mouth to feed so I've been kind of you know trying to step back and really assess what I want to buy try them before I buy them and the fragrance that I'm going to talk to you guys about from Julianne's perfume is called red carpet affair now this fragrance is inspired by Guerlain's Angelique Noir and that fragrance is supposed to be a nice green vanilla it's kind of herbaceous but it also has this powderiness to it this fragrance is really similar to that I would describe it pretty much the same way I do get more floral touches from this fragrance but I definitely get this nice green vanilla now I haven't sprayed the bottle I've only used the sample size that it comes with because that's what they recommend and I'm so happy that I did because this is one that I didn't like as much as I thought I would and it's not because this fragrance is bad it's just on my skin I really got a lot of that lavender I didn't get much pear the pear was kind of like a green pear it wasn't really juicy or very sweet in my opinion and I got a ton of that like angelica note that like green note I think it's called angelica right but I got a lot of that and a lot of the musk I did get the vanilla as well but the vanilla wasn't as sweet as I hoped it would be I knew going in that this was a green vanilla but I thought this would have a little bit more sweetness like Nishane's Ani but it didn't and so this kind of disappointed me but as I kept wearing it I do enjoy it I find that this is very appropriate for like spring summer nights because it has that green note that like lavender as well so I think it adds a little bit of a fresh touch to the fragrance a little bit of a green quality which I really really enjoy so this is a nice scent but this isn't my favorite and I would rank this fragrance about a 7 out of 10 just because for me it's a, an acquired taste it's something that I have to get used to and I have to get my nose used to and since I'm pregnant as well my nose has been a little bit off too so this is red carpet affair and this is inspired by Angelique Noir from the house of Guerlain now this next fragrance this next scent you guys I have been so into I've been so into I used up majority <laughs> of the little sample that it came with and I don't know it's just something about this fragrance that's just very sexy and sensual and this fragrance is called sex on fire and this is inspired by absolute aphrodisiac from the house of Inicio y'all I have been loving this scent this fragrance to me is a sweet warm floral fragrance it also has this nice animalic touch and a musky touch so I really really enjoy this fragrance I love how sexy it is I love how sensual it is I've been enjoying this fragrance going to bed and I don't know it just makes me feel good it makes me feel like a grown woman and I love that vibe that I get I haven't tried many fragrances from the house of Vinicio so this was also a really nice you know testing out type of thing and I really like it I really like it a lot now according to the website of Juliana's perfume this fragrance has some vanilla it has some musk and some castorium and as this scent dries down it has some amber some more vanilla and some lab denim so I would say this fragrance is very nice it's a sweet scent but it's not overly sweet because it has those resinous touches from the labdenum and the amber I think labdenum kind of smells like amber a little bit but this fragrance is so pretty I really like how sexy and sensual it is it's not too dark and heavy for the summertime but I do find that sometimes if I overspray this too much it does get a little bit cloying a little bit too much so I've been going a little lighter with this scent at night especially because you know I'm fresh out of the shower the fragrance really sticks to me and I smell this all throughout the night the performance on all of these fragrances I'm going to talk about has been amazing I guarantee you that you'll get at least eight hours of wear with these scents I personally have gotten 10 to 12 hours of wear and after 12 hours I stopped counting because I take another shower and I go to sleep so yeah this is a very very nice scent I really have been enjoying this and this is sex on fire and this is inspired by absolute aphrodisiac from the house of Anisio these next two these next two if you know me you know one of these two is literally my favorite scent ever if you've been watching me for any length of time you already know what that is and I'm not gonna make this a long drawn-out process so we have two fragrances here we have inner beauty and inner beauty exclusive and kind of makes sense because this fragrance inner beauty is inspired by Delina and this fragrance inner beauty exclusive is inspired by Delina exclusive from the house of Parfums de Marly personally you guys know if you know me I absolutely love Delina exclusive the original I did do a comparison side by side with the original fragrances and I'm here to tell you I'm here to tell you that inner beauty and inner beauty exclusive are the best inspired fragrances that I have ever smelled with any company it smells 
almost identical and I don't say that often I really love my original scents and I'm not saying that these will replace my original ones I would say that these are very similar in the sense that they smell like the original but they have like uh, Juliana's perfumes DNA in the background but it's not too strong it's very subtle I'm very particular with my fragrances and I can kind of catch on to these little nuances but if you're an individual and you don't want to spend that $300 price tag on these scents please check these fragrances out because they are very very nice and if you know me I don't call myself a fragrance snob because I don't look down on people who you know like inspired fragrances or go the alternative route but if I'm gonna get me an inspired fragrance I want it to smell almost identical and these are that so inner beauty is you know inspired by Delina and I would say that this fragrance is almost spot-on the only thing I would say is a little bit different is that it's not as sharp it's not as tart as the original Delina and some people might like that but some people might not like that it does have that tart that sharp rhubarb very intense note in the opening it smells very good it smells so good it smells very very close to the original thing now another reason why I've been kind of into inspired fragrances is because I've been traveling lately and I've been very nervous to travel with my full bottles and I don't really like decanting scents because I typically don't use the full decant and so I feel as though it's kind of wasteful just a little bit that's just my opinion though and so I would like to travel with an inspired fragrance that reminds me of the original scent that's very close to the original scent but I don't have to sacrifice my $300 bottle I can just you know if something happens I can just repurchase my $60 bottle if that makes sense so that's something that I've kind of been into lately especially with me traveling a lot and y'all these scents have not disappointed me at all so you get some rhubarb and some bergamot in the opening just like the original Delina you also get some vanilla some rose some peony and some suede which adds to that you know smooth silkiness that Delina has that I absolutely love and in the base you get some vetiver some frankincense you also get some cashmere and you get some cedar so I really like how they did this fragrance it's very very close to the original I feel like if you want to get your hands on the original but you really don't want to pay that money this is a very nice option and you guys again I love my luxurious fragrances I do typically like to get the original versus getting inspired fragrances but Juliana's perfect perfume they do a really good job I don't know what witchcraft they have going on in their labs but they do really good at getting very close to the original fragrances and I can attest to that with inner beauty and inner beauty exclusive so this is inner beauty and this is inspired by Parfums de Marly Delina now we're at inner beauty exclusive this fragrance is just amazing same thing like with Delina this is the closest Delina exclusive inspired fragrance that I've tried and I've tried quite a few I don't own them because you know I typically prefer the original but this one is a very close contender like it has the creaminess slash powderiness it has the sweetness from the lychee and the pear it has that little zing from the bergamot but it also has that smooth and well-rounded quality that I love about Delina exclusive over Delina it's just so beautiful I really love how they captured the scent of Delina in their own fragrance it's just incredible some other notes they have in here is some rose they also have some incense they have some agarwood which is also known as oud they have some vanilla some woody notes and some amber sounds pretty similar to me to the original Delina exclusive I don't know how they did it you guys but I'm so particular when it comes to Delina exclusive because this is my favorite fragrance on the planet so I can really nitpick this fragrance but this fragrance this fragrance has put some heat to Delina Exclusive and that's coming from someone who absolutely loves this fragrance. I am obsessed. I have a backup bottle of Delina Exclusive. It's that deep. It's that deep. I'm just here for it. I'm here for it. I love it. The dry down is slightly different but when you initially smell this fragrance you're like yeah that's Delina Exclusive all the way. Again I would say that this fragrance is about 95% similar to the original Delina Exclusive and I'm very much so a fan so this is a very nice alternative. This is a very nice way to get your toes into the fragrance if you really don't want to spend that money right away and you want to smell similar to it. This is a very nice option. So this is Inner Beauty Exclusive and this is inspired by Parfums de Marley Delina exclusive. So that's all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun making it. I love trying out new scents and telling you guys about it. And if you are new to my channel, I do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking with me until the end or whatnot. And for today's video, I want you guys to leave me the fire emoji because you guys, these fragrances really surprised me and they are fire. One I wasn't much of a fan of, but the others I really, really enjoyed. 
good and I'm very happy that I have them in my collection now so leave me the fire emoji so I know you guys made it until the end and let me know down below if you are fans of inspired fragrance houses and let me know some of your favorite fragrances from Juliana's perfume or any other brand that you've tried out I love you guys so so much and I'll see you all in the next one